Introduction Narrator, Welcome Students, to today's lecture on DNA Barcoding Methods in Molecular Biology. In this lecture, we will explore various topics related to DNA barcoding, including methods, techniques, and applications. DNA barcoding plays a crucial role in species identification, conservation biology, and ecological research. So, let's begin our journey into the fascinating world of DNA barcoding. DNA barcoding is a method to identify species using short genetic markers. The cytochrome C oxidase I COI, gene is commonly used, as it shows variations between species but remains consistent within the same species. Techniques like PCR amplification and DNA sequencing are utilized to create unique DNA barcodes for each species. The International Barcode of Life IBL, project has played a crucial role in establishing standardized methods for DNA barcoding. By carefully selecting a barcode region, scientists can accurately identify species. The commonly used COI gene is effective, but other genes like 16S RNA, cytochrome B, and its regions have also been studied. Factors like universality, discrimination power, and ease of amplification must be considered. This ensures that the selected region allows for species differentiation without causing confusion within species. I would explain it in simpler terms and focus on the main points. Professor, PCR amplification is important for DNA barcoding. To make it work well, we need to optimize the conditions. This involves designing specific primers, finding the right temperature, and choosing a polymerase that can correct mistakes during amplification. Through high throughput sequencing, DNA barcoding has been transformed. Next generation sequencing, NGS, techniques like Illumina, Roche 454, and Ion Torrent enable the simultaneous sequencing of numerous DNA fragments, facilitating fast and economical species identification. By employing bioinformatics tools to extract and analyze barcode sequences, researchers can process the substantial amount of data produced by NGS platforms. High throughput sequencing has greatly expedited species discovery, especially in intricate environments such as microbial communities. Professor, DNA barcoding is a technique that uses reference databases, like GenBank and Bold, to identify species based on barcode sequences. Comparative analysis involves aligning and comparing sequences to find the closest matches, aided by tools like BLAST. Professor, Multilocus DNA barcoding aims to increase species resolution by utilizing multiple barcode regions. Combining multiple genes allows for a more comprehensive assessment of genetic variability, addressing challenges posed by intraspecific and intragressive hybridization. It provides a better understanding of species boundaries and evolutionary relationships. The use of multilocus barcoding approaches, such as DNA barcoding by sequencing, DBSEq, adds a layer of complexity but provides more accurate species identification in challenging taxonomic groups. By analyzing genetic material from environmental samples, metagenomics enables researchers to identify species within communities without individual sample collection. This approach involves DNA sequencing and bioinformatics tools to study diversity, composition, interactions, and functional potential. This integrated approach can provide insights into species ecological roles, evolutionary relationships, and potential applications in fields like medicine, agriculture, and conservation. By combining DNA barcoding with metabolomic analysis, scientists can unravel the intricate biochemical complexity underlying species identification and classification. Professor, Integrative Taxonomy aims to combine multiple lines of evidence, including DNA barcoding, to improve species identification accuracy. It involves integrating genetic, morphological, ecological, and physiological data to gain a comprehensive understanding of species boundaries. By using different data types, scientists can determine the extent of cryptic species, assess hybridization events, and resolve taxonomic uncertainties. Integrative taxonomy enhances our ability to accurately classify and recognize species, especially in challenging taxonomic groups. Professor, as DNA barcoding evolves, researchers are continually exploring new regions for species identification. Emerging barcoding regions include non-coding regions, such as intergenic spacers, microsatellites, and introns. These regions may provide additional taxonomic resolution, especially for groups where traditional barcoding regions lack sufficient variation. While the exploration of emerging barcoding regions is still ongoing, they hold potential for expanding the scope and accuracy of DNA barcoding across diverse taxa. Professor, Mathematical models offer a quantitative approach to species identification based on DNA barcoding data. Various models, such as the neighbor joining method, maximum likelihood estimation, and Bayesian inference, are employed to reconstruct evolutionary relationships and infer species boundaries. 
These models use genetic distance measures, phylogenetic trees, and statistical frameworks to estimate species clusters and their confidence intervals. Mathematical modeling enhances the objectivity and reproducibility of DNA barcoding analyzes. Professor, DNA barcoding finds practical applications in a wide range of fields. For instance, it aids in identifying species involved in wildlife crime, monitoring invasive species spread, assessing biodiversity in ecological surveys, and authenticating food products. Additionally, DNA barcoding contributes to conservation efforts by aiding in the identification of endangered species and monitoring population dynamics. It also provides valuable insights into evolutionary processes and species diversification. Professor, in conclusion, DNA barcoding has greatly improved species identification using standardized methods, DNA sequencing, and reference databases. It has applications in taxonomy, ecology, conservation, and forensics. Integration with genomics, metabolomics, and math modeling will enhance accuracy and biodiversity understanding. DNA barcoding is a powerful tool to explore the natural world. Thank you, and see you next class.